If you ever thought about publishing a children's book, you've come to the right place. I think a lot of people have either thought about it or genuinely want to publish a book, but there's always been like that mystery of, okay, well, like, how do you do it? The reality of it is that it's really not that hard, but I can tell you what, if I had to do it all over again with my first book, I would have completely self-published instead of going through a traditional publisher. And I'll tell you why. So regardless if you are self-publishing or if you are going through a publisher, your publisher is not going to sell your book for you. So you're still going to need to treat your book like your business and do all the promoting, all the marketing, and basically all the hustling. You're the one that's setting up your own book signings. You're the one that's setting up your own events, your own readings. So you're pretty much doing all the work. And my like logic behind that is if I'm going to do all of the work to get my book out there and do all of the promotion and the marketing and the sales, why would I want to give a cut to that to the publisher? So I created this toolkit for children's authors who are legitimately interested in self-publishing, and it goes through a whole outline of from start to finish. So from story prompts to copy editing to beta reading to illustrations to you know all the way down to publishing and even to marketing, I have outlined everything that you need to know and everything that you need to do um, in order to self-publish. And these are steps that I am actually currently using right now with my next children's book. Not to mention the fact that self-publishing is a hell of a lot cheaper than going through a traditional publisher. My first children's book that I did through a publisher cost me $4,000. Yeah, I will never do that again. So if you want more information on how you can self-publish, you can find my you know what and my you know what.